Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's a brand new week here on Keto Omed and right back here on this channel. So, since it's a brand new week, today is Monday, the 16th of January. I am in a very breakfasty mood today. So you already know what that means. It's upside down day. And I'm gonna go ahead and have breakfast for my meal. So I'm so excited. My husband was actually off today because it is a federal holiday. However, clearly check the duds. I was not. So he actually was home to be able to make some bacon. Um, he roasted some sausage, some beef sausage. Um, and I think he made some uh, pan seared chicken again. And then he also made himself some spaghetti and stuff like that. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and make my own version of what I would like. Um, so I'm actually going to start off with something different today. I'm going to make cinnamon toast. Yes, cinnamon toast, like cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast. I grabbed this sugar-free cinnamon sugar substitute when I um, on my last order with Nutrition. I haven't actually tried it, but it says sprinkle on pancakes, French toast, breakfast cereal, regular toast, ice cream, fruit, pudding, custard, yogurt, and rice pudding. Delicious added to coffee and cocoa. Alrighty, so I'm going to basically just kind of make my own cinnamon toast. I'm using my... Um, low carb like live live carb live live carb uh low carb bread basically um this one's the wheat bread that i also bought off of nutrition i actually saw that keto bread in the aldi's the other day i should have grabbed some neither here nor there i'm gonna go ahead and just pop some um butter on this go ahead and sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon sugar and then i am gonna add just a little bit more cinnamon just in case it's not to my liking because i definitely like a lot of cinnamon i, I really love that flavor on the toast um, I have some sausage that I'm going to go ahead and slice up and fry up. I have a few eggs here that I'm going to scramble with some cheese. And then I have just a few strips of bacon. It is not just a carnivore day because as you can see in the background, I already have my salad station ready. Okay? I am not playing around. This is happening, people. <laughs> I'm going to get my daily dose of greens in before I, as I chow down on everything else. So let me go ahead and get this um, toast started since I already heated up the oven. And I will go ahead and jump into everything else. So just watch along. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for sticking around. So as you can clearly see, I have a delicious egg, um, scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheddar cheese. I have some um, bacon and of course some of that sausage. I may not eat it all, but I definitely wanted to eat so incorporate some sausage. And with that, my uh, toast came out good. I had my husband, I did a trial piece, so I made him eat it. <laughs> And so he really liked it. He said it was really good. He, he said, in fact, it was 
really good he said because it wasn't super duper sweet he was like so you really do taste the cinnamon and i was like good and of course you guys already know i have my greens i'm definitely gonna have my salad for today definitely want to make sure that i get that in my system every single day if i possibly can I have Muggy here with my protein coffee, which I'm excited about. And then I also have that other half of that Too Good smoothie. I only drank about half yesterday, so I only have half left um, to go ahead and try. So um, I like the smoothies really good, but they are very sweet. I wish it wasn't as sweet, but either way, it's, it is pretty decent, but it's good. So I'm gonna have that along with my meal today. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Let me go ahead and break my fast and take a bite of my toast. See all the cinnamon swirl all over there? And I'll let you guys know how it is. Mmm, you're right. Mmm. Definitely need the extra cinnamon. So I'm glad I put that on there. But pretty good. I don't have any complaints really really good um has a really good uh, cinnamon flavor but um that's because of course i added more cinnamon to it but definitely not as sweet so i do understand what he means by that too all right guys this will thank you so much for joining me here on a monday i will see you all back here tomorrow for day for tuesday and as we finish up our weekly vlog right back here on the channel same time same place Hey guys, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Tuesday, January the 17th. I'm about to start dinner here. Um, my husband made spaghetti for himself earlier in the week. So he requested that I make some of the garlic bread that I made for myself, which was low carb the last time. Um, he asked, requested for some garlic bread as well. So I'm gonna basically make him some garlic bread. I'm gonna make myself some garlic bread because I'm gonna be uh, roasting off um, some leftovers. So I have uh, two patties here, two um, hamburger patties, excuse me, uh, hamburgers that he had already made during the week. And as you can see, this little plethora right around here is just that roasted squash, leftover roasted squash and zucchini and some onions. So I'm gonna re-roast that because I don't want it too mushy. I kind of want it to have a little, you know, like a little bit of a bite to it, a little char. And then right here is, I have four stuffed mushrooms that he made um, on Monday. Monday, yes. So I'm about to have that. That'll be my meal for today. That way I can incorporate my veggies in with my food there. I'm gonna pop some Swiss cheese onto my little burger patties. So that way I can already have that um, kind of like a ooey gooey melty type of thing going on with the burger. That's going to be awesome to put on my um, my little um, garlic toast. I'm using the, as of right now, the Live Carb Smart. I could not figure out the name of this bread yesterday to save my life. So it's the Live Carb Smart Wheat Bread. So let me pull out my bread. I already have his bread on a little baking sheet here. I'm just going to do two pieces today. I let my husband have that trial piece I made yesterday. So he was saying it was really good. So I know what's his, I know what's mine. Perfect. And the first seasoning I always use is the garlic salt. And then now some garlic powder to intensify that flavor. All right, a little bit of onion powder. And then finally, some parsley. And of course, just a little sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. And I do mean a little, because I don't want it to be too, I don't want the bread to be super duper heavy.
All right. So now our bread is ready and I'm going to stick that in the oven and let that go. And basically I'll be back when my food is actually ready. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so just took the bread out. This one's my husband's bread right here, his three pieces, and this one is my low carb bread here. So I'm just gonna kind of slice these and get, well, mine are gonna stay like this because I can put my burgers on them, but I'm gonna slice his for his spaghetti. Alrighty, guys, so it's time to sit down and chow down here. As you can see, I have my two burgers that I put my uh, little slice of Swiss cheese on. I have my little stuffed mushrooms here, which got a little bit more toasted, which I absolutely love. I have my low carb um, garlic bread that I created. Um, along with that, I have some Heinz, no sugar added tomato ketchup. Definitely gotta get another one, I'm gonna pop that on the list. And of course, some whole, um, little small whole baby, you know, kosher um, pickles to go with that. And I have my roasted veggies. These were left over. This was pretty much the end of it uh, or like the last of it basically. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and just kind of reconstitute them, get them in there, get them roasted again so that they can uh, really pull out some good flavors since it's pretty much at the end. I have Muggy here. I had some leftover coffee actually, believe it or not, yet from yesterday. So I just kind of reheated it in the microwave a little bit and then just popped it back here in my mug. And I just added a little bit more um, of that Starbucks Sumatra to it as well. And of course I have my water cup here. So I think I'm good to go to break my fast. I'm excited, I'm hungry. I honestly, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I really didn't want this. <laughs> I really wanted something I'm, I'm sure I'm not supposed to have. Well, I, I'm a hundred percent sure I, I'm positive I'm not supposed to have, but it's okay. We came home. We made a we made a decision. We said, "Look, we bought these groceries. We cooked this food. We're not going to let it go to waste. We are going to come home and we're going to eat that food." So, that is what we did. I'm proud of myself. It's the little victories for sure because I definitely did not want this tonight. I did not want to come home. I did not want to try to fin figure out a meal for myself and it definitely wasn't burgers and veggies. So, it is what it is. Just figured I'd be very transparent and honest with you guys. So that's how I'm feeling today. But I'm going to go ahead and chow down and I may come back on a little later just to kind of show you a um, cool little dessert. All right. Take care. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, it is Wednesday. Finally, Wednesday the 18th. I am about to go ahead and start grabbing or making a quick dinner. Um, it's going to consist clearly of my little salad bar here. I'm going to make myself a salad. And then I'm also going to make something really quick. I'm going to do some of these real good food companies, um, chicken nuggets. So they're lightly breaded chicken nuggets. I was kind of feeling, I wasn't quite feeling with the food that we have here. So I figured I'd just go ahead and eat whatever I do have. So that makes it helpful. So I have my, uh, what's this thing called? My air fryer here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of throw some nuggets in there really quickly. I have a nail appointment at five. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get my nails done really quickly. And then on top of that, the um, gym is right there. My local gym is right there. The Planet Fitness, I'm sure you guys have probably heard of them, um, is right there by the nail shop. So I think I'm going to go over there and kind of do a small workout. Uh, my coworker was telling me that the workout she does is called a 31230, where she puts her speed on three, she does the incline of 12, and she just does it for 30 minutes. Um, so I don't know if this is a fad or if this is something that you guys have heard of. I haven't done any research on it, but she says that apparently it does help you to lose or shed some weight. So I'm going to try that today, give it a good 30 minutes, give it a good college try. Pretty sure I'm going to be sore for the rest of the week, which kind of sucks because I have a formal to go to on Saturday, but I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a try. I need it. Uh, even if I can't accomplish it, it's okay because you guys already know I mainly focus on my food um, and my fasting. I don't necessarily focus too much on the gym. In fact, I haven't stepped in the gym. I pay for a gym membership. I haven't yet to go to the gym in quite some time. So... I have to give myself a little grace there. It's okay if I can't do it. 
I'm just gonna do what I can do at least for 30 minutes and try to, you know, get some exercise and move around a little bit. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so that you can kind of see a little bit. Um, but for the most part, that's it. I'm charging up my headphones now. I'm about to make my food. Um, that way I can break my fast. It's definitely been about 22 hours now, so it's time to chow down. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, my chicky nuggies are all ready. Bada bing, bada boom. Just leave them right there. Yeah. Right, you're not getting a nugget. Go lay down. I was over here trying to snatch my nuggies. Alrighty, guys, so I am chicken nugget up. I already made my little plate of sauce here. I just have hot sauce and ranch and then some of that G-Hughes sugar-free cluck, cluck and sauce. Kind of like their own sugar-free version of um, Chick-fil-A sauce. So that's what I have. And you guys saw me create my salad as per usual. Nothing new or anything like that in the salad. Definitely need some more Parmesan cheese though because I noticed I'm getting low. Uh, but the same creamy, Ken's creamy Caesar dressing, I did add on the pecans along with those spicy pumpkin seeds, which are a, a big hit in my household. So, yes, that's what I have for today. Um, I am, since I'm going to the gym, I kind of need a little something to give me some energy. I have coffee, which is a warm uh, protein coffee, which is my warm beverage. But warm beverages actually put me to sleep and they don't actually wake me up at all. So... I'm going to be using this sparkling ice plus caffeine. This is my first time I'm going to be trying this one. It's zero sugar, no carbs. I think it's only five calories for the whole can. Yeah. Lots of different vitamins in here, but this one is the Citrus Twist. It is their flavored sparkled water. So that's what I'm going to be having along with my meal to kind of help give me a little energy because you guys already know besides the food, I am pooped. Um, I also have for dessert some cut up strawberries and then I also have a Russell Stover's sugar-free uh, peanut butter cup. So that's what I'll be having for today. Yes. I have a little sweet to kind of end off my meal, but uh, that's pretty much it for today. I feel good. I've been fasting, like I said, about 22 hours, so definitely ready to chow down. Um, other than that, I will see you guys at the nail, <laughs> the nail shop and then I'll see you guys in the gym. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's here at the gym. About to go ahead and get this in. Get the nails. Super cute. Alright, see y'all in a minute.
welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday. Yes, Thursday, the 19th of January. And I'm just now about to eat and break my fast. It's been every bit of 24 hours. I'm getting a little delusional, <laughs> short temper, <laughs> and I'm just so tired. Oh, it was, why did I feel like I could get to the gym yesterday? I was so tired. And on top of that, I was starting to kind of catch a cramp a little bit because I had eaten before I went, you know, to get my nails done and of course go to the gym. So <laughs> I'm paying for it today. It my husband actually uh, made me a salad today, which was so nice of him. So I got my salad here on the side. Everything that I usually put in there is in there and nothing new, nothing changed. So I'm excited about that. And then today I made myself my own little kind of like, um, I guess you want to, I guess it could be a breakfast pizza. It's kind of like an omelet, but it, instead of it being an omelet, it's scrambled eggs on top of a keto um pizza crust. So I kind of made like a cheese pizza, but I wanted to kind of spice it up with, I have some uh, eggs and I have bacon and I had that beef sausage. I did, I cut up some peppers, some, I had onions already cut up, but I sauteed the peppers, onions, and um, mushrooms. And then I added in the eggs at the end. Um, it looks delicious. I did put a little bit of Cholula hot sauce on here as well as some pickled red onion. So I'm excited about that. That's my newest thing. So I grabbed these pickled onions from this company called Veggie Confetti. Pickled onions. And I was like, this would be great to put on like your tacos or like a salad or you know, like what I just made today, like a pizza, you know, anything with a little bit of vinegar kind of helps to cut through. So that's what I did. I put just a few of those little strips on there and I just cut my little pizza, pizza thing in half here. So that's what I'm going to be dining on today. I have Muggy, of course, here chilling by the wayside. And I actually did make some, um, what's this stuff called? This, um, crystal light water. And this one is that peach iced tea flavored. So I did make that but I am exhausted, so it's gonna be a very early night for me. I'm about to go ahead and shout out on this, and then pretty much it's gonna be time for me to get in the bed, you know, get myself together, you know, get ready for the evening, and yeah, go to sleep, because I am exhausted, so. Needless to say, I am excited that you guys came by to see what I had today, but I will see you guys here on the channel tomorrow for our fifth and final day here of our weekly vlog on Friday, okay? So I'll see you back here, same time, same place, to see what I eat. Take care. Bye. Hey, guys. Sis. Hey, welcome back to my channel. So it is Friday, January the 20th, and it has been a great day day okay let me just say that it has been such a great day so today i am not having anything at home per se but i am going to doctor something up so i was hungry i was actually in the mood for kebabs i wanted to get some steak kebabs from the local um you know place that you know mediterranean place that's nearby unfortunately they were closed permanently apparently so i had no idea that's how long i haven't been there but uh, the Chipotle was right around the corner, so I actually ended up getting a Chipotle salad. So I did chicken and steak, and I always just get a full scoop of both, and yeah, that'll work. So I did, just did a little bit of tomatoes on here, um, just a little tiny bit of corn as well. Um, I didn't do any sour cream because I'm actually going to be doctoring it up with my favorite dressing, the Ken's uh, Creamy Caesar. And then... Um, I also got a little thing of guacamole on the side as well for the additional fat. So that's what I'm going to be having. I'm going to doctor it up with some pecans along with my spicy pumpkin seeds as well. So that's basically what I'm, I'm going to be dining on today. Nothing major, nothing special, but I was really in the mood. Okay. Really in the mood for some kebabs, but you know, it is what it is. You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, yes. Ooh, these look so good. Let me grab some black pepper because I think the black pepper goes great on any salad. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on the channel and for this weekly vlog. So I'm going to be uh, breaking my fast with my Chipotle salad bowl. It is going to basically be just the chicken along with the steak, their salad. 
Um, I also grabbed a little bit of Cholula hot sauce just in case I want a little bite, a little vinegary bite there. Um, and I, of course, I have some of, um, of their guacamole, so I can just kind of dip into it as I need to. I did make my um, protein coffee and muggy today, so I have that to finish off my meal. That is heavy. And just in case, oh, of course, in my water cup of, as well. Just in case this is not enough, which I believe it should be, but just in case, I also have uh, one of my keto pizzas that I made yesterday. So I have that on the waiting in the wing, just in case. Alrighty guys, well that's pretty much it for today. I had a great week and an even better Friday, which made it totally worth it for sure. But I will see you all back here on the channel, same time, same place tomorrow for a start of a new weekend vlog. You guys take care and have a good one. Bye.